Welcome back, Mr. Penance. How are you? I'm good. I'm good, thank you. Now, obviously, we've had uh, a little chat as to uh, where you have been. Yep. We're not allowed to chat chat on the radio as to where you have been. Correct. By the way, it's nothing criminal. You haven't been up to anything. You haven't been up to no good or anything like that. <laughs> You've been doing something that people will find out about um, at the other side of Christmas, let's just say. Yes. And they will see you in all your glory. Well, they will see me He's being tortured. He's been doing tortured. the full months, everybody. He's been they doing the full months. They will see me being tortured. But let's just put it that way. Okay, all right. But you're back? Yeah, I'm back. I'm, I'm alive. I don't kick in. Good. Yep. Uh, feeling fit, ready to rock and roll. Yes. All right. Uh, yes. Now, obviously, on your little escapade, um, yeah. there would not have been too much signal or uh, too many televisions <laughs> for you to be able to <laughs> keep Absolutely up zero. Or any radio for you to keep up to date uh, with any of the football. Have you, have you managed to uh, catch up since you've been uh, back on uh, English soil? Uh, yes, I have. Um, but when I was on my travels, I did get a minute to ask the scores. All oh, right. Okay. Yes, and, and you're I, allowed I, to do that. Were you? I got a, you know, a quick. You minute. had an informant. Yeah, an informant. <laughs> right, um, okay, cool. And yeah, I found out that my team, Liverpool, drew three three with Brighton, and I, Brighton, and it actually kind of ruined my day. Okay. Even more so. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. Yeah. Um, I asked the question there, is this last chance saloon this weekend? Obviously, they're taking on Man City at <coughs> 4 o'clock come Sunday. Or is it already gone in your eyes? Ah, it's already gone. Simple as that. It's it's already gone. And now, it's all about a battle for top four. Ooh. Ooh. Will they make... Will... Imagine that conversation, right? At the start of the season, they signed Darwin Nunez. Mm. I remember speaking to a mate of mine who's a Liverpool season ticket holder, right? And this was a genuine conversation. Start of the season. We watched the uh, charity... Uh, what's it called? The Community Shield game together. And we all saw Haaland miss a couple of chances in that yeah. game, right? And Nunez comes off the bench and he's a million dollars. <laughs> and my mate says to me, he goes, I'll have you a little bet now that Nunez scores more than Haaland this season. He is going to be the guy that lights up the Premier League. And I went, yeah, having a laugh, son, right? So I took the bet. He's already paid the bet out, right? <laughs> <laughs> already paid it out, he gets it. <laughs> but can you imagine a conversation at that point of that Liverpool team right there? Mm. They've just beaten this Man City team in the Community Shield. They're going to struggle to make top four this year. Can you imagine that conversation no. then? When I watched that game, the Community Shield, I was I was raving. I was, you know, yes, we've got this. I actually, we've got this. But on this, right, <clears throat> because I kind of picked this up as well in the Fulham game right at the start of the season. Nunes was brilliant in the Community Shield game and in the Fulham game. Again, off the bench, impact, comes in, breathes life into the team. Mm. If you remember that first game against Fulham, Fulham were very, very good in that game. And we looked at it and went, they're going to do all right. If they play like this for the rest of the season, they will do all right. Yeah. Did the Nunes factor in those early moments paper over some massive cracks in that Liverpool side, in particular in the midfield? Because <coughs> without him on the pitch, there was genuinely no... Urgency, creativity, and a lot of players well off it. Yeah, hundred percent. And in this league, you will get found out. You know, they didn't freshen up the midfield. What what Liverpool have done? Okay, Manny went and they brought in Nunes for you know kind of a, a replacement, not for player, but you know getting a, a top striker in. Yeah. But while everyone else around them is strengthening, Liverpool have just you know made a a, a switch. Evan Ox is getting stronger, getting in players, looking at um, the, the places where they need to strengthen. Liverpool haven't. They've just thought, you know, we're good enough to go on the team that we've had. Why other teams are getting stronger and now we're getting found out. Is that, a, listen, I don't know too much about Liverpool's uh, financial structure and their, their buying and selling mm. policy, but is, is that a conscious decision? I'm sure it's Jurgen Klopp sat there with his guys and he's saying, listen, he, he's not daft, is he? <coughs> he could look at that side and say, listen, we've, you know, legs are a little bit aging in midfield now. We need, we need, some, we need some deeper things there. This is what I don't understand. If I can sit on my sofa for a time and go, wow, our midfield is tired. It's a tiring midfield. We need energy in there. We need creativity on there. He's seeing that week in, week out, day in, at training. How has he, how has he not gone to the board and says, look, we need a player in, okay, we spent X amount on Nunes, but we also need a top midfielder. We are the top top teams in Europe. We, we want to win the Premier League. We need to do this. Otherwise, we're not going to be challenging. Mm. I don't understand that, how it's not happened there. Midweek win 7-1 at Rangers. Needed. Listen, any win is needed. Yeah, yeah. Um, but a, a win of obviously that magnitude... 
um, with players that were out of form, not scoring goals, scoring goals and scoring goals quickly. Obviously, creates a bit of confidence. Despite, listen, people will throw shade at the mm. level of opposition. Of yeah. course they will. But a 7-1 victory in any day of the week is a good victory. What does that do coming into this game at the weekend? Right. <laughs> it helps. It's not going to change a lot, but it's it's going to help. Um, Salah with that quick hat trick, six minute hat trick, his confidence was low before. That's going to bring him back to life. So we'll see a better performance, hopefully now in in Salah in the, in the up and coming games. And having a victory like that in Champions League doesn't matter your position is always good for morale and the confidence. So what I'm looking at now is. Rather than getting beat potentially 4-0, 4 or 5, you know, I don't think they're going to win the game on the back of the results that we've seen previously. Imagine that. Imagine being a Liverpool fan. I, You're playing at home I know. to Manchester City and you don't but think you're going to win the we, game. If we're conceding three goals to Brighton, if we, 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 we're not... We're not that team at the back anymore. We're, we're lacking urgency. We're, we're the, you know, the passion's gone a little bit and we're a little bit scared now. Like, well, what's going on here? We're, we're in different territory. A team like Man City right now, they will punish Liverpool's high line for starters. Mm. So the result is not going to be as high as I thought it was, but I do not see Liverpool coming out with a victory. 